How's it going YouTube? As always, my name is Kevin. Welcome back to another Call of Duty video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to download IW4X on your PC. Let's get right into it. So what is IW4X? IW4X is basically a client that lets you use the Modern Warfare 2 game on populated servers. With this tutorial, I'm also going to show you guys how to download the ARZ mod files. This allows you to use guns from Modern Warfare 2 all the way to Modern Warfare 2019. It's honestly incredible. You can use guns from Black Ops 4. You can use guns from Advanced Warfare, Cold War, World at War, Black Ops 1, and you can even use a Halo gun. It's honestly pretty incredible. All right, starting right off the back here, you want to go to this website. It's going to be called the IW4X Support Client Website. It's going to be down in the description below. Don't worry, everything that I provide in this video, everything that I tell you guys, every single little thing will be all down in the description below. Do not worry. I'm going to tell you guys step by step on how to do this. So first off the bat, all you want to do is download the QB Qbit torrent file um, software. Essentially, this is going to let you drag it into your actual game and all that, whatever it is. Second thing you want to do after you have that all set up, you want to download the full game torrent. Now, I'm not going to click this file. I already did it. But essentially, once you download it, it's going to be in your game files and all that. It's going to be in your files. And for me, anyways, um, you want to make sure you put it in a spot where you know you can find it. So for me, I downloaded it already, like I said, and it is right here. You want to make sure you download this file first moving on you will also want to download the actual launcher itself that the client launcher that lets you play the actual game so once that's downloaded we're going to scroll down back to the website we're going to go all the way down here to dlc torrent now if you want to play on um zelta's servers alistair servers and all that that lets you play on nuketown um all all that type of stuff you want to download this once you have everything downloaded you're all good to go you should have the client right here and you should be having qubit torrent up and you should be able to just install it it should automatically install the files into um qb i'm gonna call it qb it's a lot easier it's, it should automatically install these files into the game now into the the software now i already have it downloaded i already have it takes about 10 minutes depending on your internet and all that it's pretty fast pretty simple but all you want to do is go you want to go to the full game file this one specifically you want to right click you want to go down to open destination folder and again you want to make sure you know where the game is for me i have it in my new drive my new uh my d drive um under qb file and here is the full game so once you do that you want to grab dlc you want to right click on it you want to go to open destination folder and you're going to see these two files right here you're going to see main and zone now i already did this i already what well, i'm about to show you guys i already did it but essentially what you want to do you want to highlight these two files all you want to do is drag and drop that's essentially all you want to do you want to drag and let go once you do that since like i said i already did it so i can't do it again but it's going to ask you if you want to replace folders or replace files you want to make sure you press yes and continue basically all right so next thing you want to do is open up the actual client itself and you're going to see s1x um iw6x iw4x and all you want to do is go down to the cog wheel down below right here on the client and you're going to see advanced warfare installation ghost installation Modern warfare 2 installation so obviously this is the free version of Modern warfare 2 i don't own the game on um steam or anything like that so i'm gonna show you guys how exactly to do it so when you go to Modern Warfare 2 installation, you're going to see there's going to be nothing here. It's going to be nothing here on your guys' end. I already did this, but on your guys' screen or whatever it is, it's going to show nothing. It's going to be a blank. So all you want to do is go to Browse. You want to make sure you know where you downloaded the file originally. And like I said earlier in the video, I have it down in my D drive, and it's under my QB folder. So all you want to do is select this folder and just select it. So once you have it selected, it should pop up right here. And honestly, you should be ready to go and to actually play the game itself. Before we do that, I'm going to show you guys how to download the ARZ modded fi um, files and all that to actually be able to play on um, the guns, like to have all the sniper rifles from Advanced Warfare, from Ghost, Modern Warfare, everything. What I showed you in the beginning of the video, basically. So let's get right into it. So these are the ARZ files. Again, this is going to be down in the description below. Everything right here is going to be down in the description below. I already said this. Um, so all you want to do, essentially, is download the files. Once you have it downloaded, I already have it downloaded, actually. So I can just do this really quickly now. Go to my downloads. Go to about right here. You might have to download WinRAR. And that WinRAR is a free um, software to extract files. But again, that's going to be down in the description below as well. Do not fret but yes once you um download the files of arz arz files um it's going to be in rinrar or wherever it is in your uh files whatever you know 
wherever you put it, it's going to be in your computer. So all you want to do is select user maps and mods. So once you do that, you also want to go into your files and go where you have the full game. So for me, my full game is going to be originally where I originally downloaded it from a couple months back. It's going to be right here in my download section. It's going to be right here. So all you want to do, you're going to see in their actual files or whatever, whenever you have everything installed, you're going to see files that are called main mods and user maps. So essentially user maps right here and mods. So user maps is right here and mods are right here. So all you want to do is highlight those two files. All you want to do is drag, hold it or whatever, drag and drop. It's going to automatically extract it and you should be honestly ready to go. Once it's done extracting, it's going to ask you want to replace the files. Um, you might not even have the modded the mod files right there or the user map files right there at all either. But uh, yes, once you do that, it's going to basically replace it or add them into the actual game files. And you honestly should be ready to go. You should have the DLC torrent files. You should have the game already installed. You should also have the ARZ files as well. Again, I want to give a huge shout out to um, Obey Alistair, Obey Zelta. I'm not sure who else exactly, but they are the ones that made this happen. They are the ones that help the community for us snipers out there that want to play on older CODs, but using whatever sniper we want. Obviously, this is not SM2. This is the closest thing we have to SM2 for now. But yes, big shout out to them. Their um, users are going to be down in the description below as well. But yes, you should be ready to go. The last thing I want to show you guys now is how to actually use a controller on IW4X. As you all know, IW4X, or if you don't know, IW4X only is a mouse and keyboard program. Originally, it was only on mouse and keyboard. But with the great help of DS4 Windows, or whatever it is, that's what, I, that's what it's called anyways, it, it basically configures your controller into an Xbox controller or even a uh, PlayStation controller, and it lets you use it in-game. So all you want to do is go to this website. It's going to be down in the description below again. And all you want to do is download it. Pretty simple, pretty fast forward. Um, I downloaded it the wrong way. There it is. It should take a few seconds, but it should be right here. It's going to be a RINRAR file or a zip file or whatever it is. But all you want, it's pretty self-explanatory. All you want to do is open it. And take a second. And you should have it right here. Ignore that. And all you need to do is extract all the files or whatever it is. And you should be good to go. I'm not going to do this. I already did it. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Extract the files. It's going to let you open up the actual program itself, which I already have downloaded right here. Again, it's going to be down here. It's going to be called DX4 Windows. And here's the file or the software itself. So once you open this up, once you have it fully downloaded and everything, it's going to ask you originally, originally my screen went black, excuse me. Um, it's going to ask you originally um, to connect your controller. All you want to do really is disconnect your controller. Obviously, there's no controllers there now. You want to connect your controller again. Should pop up in a few seconds. Boom, there it is. And originally, it's going to do stop. It's going to say on the bottom right to start. So you want to click the start button and it should automatically detect your controller the moment you connect it in. Alrighty, so once you have all of this installed and all that, you're in the game. Um, it's not going to look like this. You want to go down to your settings. You want to make sure you have the right resolution, 1920 by 1080 or whatever your monitor is. You also want to make sure you mess with your FOV. I play at 80 FOV. You want to make sure your um, field of view scale is also good as well. Your FPS is also good. You even go to um, maximum advanced video settings or whatever. And make sure your refresh rate is possible, is good and all that. I have my settings set to mostly low or manual automatic or whatever. And I have these set to high. But yeah, you should be good to go. You should be ready to go after that um again it should automatically detect your controller as you guys can see with uh the software of uh ds4 windows no i'm <laughs> so essentially all you want to do is go down to your gamepad you will be down right here you can mess with settings you can mess your sensitivity and all that but you should be ready to go you should be able to just go and join game and go into any of the files um, for me, I have the obviously the ARZ files servers right here. Now it's gonna not it's not gonna look like that. It's gonna take a second to show all the files. Show all the files, sorry, servers, all the servers right here. But there's a lot to choose from. There really is. Um, but yes, I set mine to favorites since these are servers that I play on. 
But essentially, all you gotta do is click on a server, and you should be able to load in pretty easily. With that being said, this is basically IW4X, is how to install it, how to do everything. If you guys enjoyed the video, this helped you guys out. Please drop down below a like, maybe even a sub. I would really appreciate it. If you already subbed, make sure to turn on that Noti Bell. Noti Bell is already on. Make sure to drop down below Noti Gang or something. Um, and I'll give you guys like a shout out or something like that in my next video. But that's basically it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Again, everything's going to be down in the description below on how to do this and how to get to the website and all of that. With that being said, enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, yeah.